to be fair, this box actually has some weight to it. You're gonna be flying today. Imagine. Arm control. Day two of cycling to Switzerland. We're going to visit Sun God in Verbier, 140 kilometers to ride today, and we're changing countries. We're heading into Belgium, the land of very steep, cobbled climbs. Yay! So yesterday was our first proper day of riding and it ended up being a bit of an epic because we got off the ferry pretty late and then we went to a bike shop to see some friends and then that meant we kind of hung around for a couple of hours and then we got here well just as the sun was setting so we haven't had very much sleep I've been editing these videos on the fly we all woke up this morning feeling absolutely wrecked but in very good spirits because cycling in the Netherlands is basically a treat I mean look at this this whole thing it's just for bikes. We've woken up a little bit earlier today just so we have a bit of a head start. Hopefully don't get back as late. Take things chill and really try and recover after what was just quite a savage day yesterday. <laughs> you owe me a tenner. Turn if you got the ramp. Accept it. Before we continue with today's video, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Sturger. Link in description below to get 25% off your first order. Enjoy. We have officially crossed over the border into Belgium and we know this because the cycle lane has gone from silky smooth to bumpy as I do love Belgium though, done a lot of bike races here, fantastic chips. Spit it again. Yeah, make sure the ceiling gets everywhere. The tubeless does work sometimes. Yeah. What, my nose? Connected my Garmin to my phone to the speaker and now it gives me directions through the speaker which is actually quite good. Got a little Bluetooth speaker. Oh right. Uh, no it says no entry except for bikes. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That pretty much sums up the city. We're in Antwerp. Did I just say that? Antwerp. We're in Antwerp. It's actually a beautiful city and as the weather is extremely good right now everybody is out enjoying it. Including us. You good Ben? How are you? So good. I see you've adjusted the the robot situation to be a lot more aero. Feel it as well. Yeah. He's got a better view now, he's out of the box. We're now over a third of the way through the ride, so actually making really good progress. Steady on the climb. Steady on the climb. Oh, sorry. Wow. Probably not supposed to be here, but there's other people on bikes doing it, so. Thank you. Arm Thanks. control. Let's have a lunch. Over there. Just FaceTime my mother, it seems that we're very in sync. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Chris, this is embarrassing. I've been saying thank you, Val, to all the people in the supermarket. Well, the one lady that I spoke to in the supermarket. But we're not in the Netherlands anymore. So she can't have understood me. Been in Belgium for about 30k. We've been in Belgium for a long time. <laughs> Feels different, doesn't it? We haven't got any frites, though. Dinner. Just, just, just frites. So if you're ever doing backpacking trips and you want to keep the costs down, Eating at cafes is expensive, so going to a supermarket and having a little picnic is the way to go. Always nice. Actually, food ends up being nicer because you get to choose exactly what you want. Um, I'm a fan of the supermarket picnic. Rolling picnic? Rolling picnic. Trio of hummus. I only got one, one, a one of hummus. Trio hummus, of hummus solo. I just asked this lady in the shop for a toilet. She goes, yeah, 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 follow me. Puts this code in, takes me through the staff room, down the stairs, and she goes, yeah, it's just there. Everyone's looking at me like with their sandwiches. Don't remember. Oh. Arm control. I bought the Haribos that I thought would pick be good pick-me-ups. Happy life. Funny mix. Win a prize every hour. It's because it takes an hour to get the sticker off. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. There's nothing there. <laughs> Shall I go in? Shall I go in and just start ripping them off the back? Oh, it's two stacks together for us. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh. I think I might have won a giant pair of bare feet. Look out for a bike ride. 
I don't know what's happened. The light has gone off, but the light is flashing sometimes. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey Francis, you got a permit? I do. We were with a local guy called Chris yesterday. Chris, other Chris. I really thought other Chris was joking about Belgium cycle lanes and roads being really bumpy. He wasn't, I don't remember him being this bumpy in the races. Literally all day, we've been on the harshest like tiles on the ground. And it's like, cause the bikes are so heavy. So it just everything like rattles you. Boom. Now Ben's got his new Aero Robot, he seems to like ride him really hard. I think we might have to get him another present. You notice? He's riding too hard for a bike. Well, he wants to get training, doesn't he? Does he? Yeah, he wants a training benefit. And if he had like a, if he had something heavier or yeah. bigger, we yeah. get a model of the ferry we came on. Thank you. I know I've done some bike rides in much hotter temperatures than this, about 34, 35. It's like riding into a hairdryer though, especially if you're not used to it. I can't moan, I can't moan. Gave the mer a dig, didn't I? You didn't. It wasn't the mer. It wasn't the mer. <laughs> <laughs> now look what's happened. Where'd you get that? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no. Another successful ride. These, these look a bit weird. She just drops. That look weird as well. It's a fantastic piece of artwork here. Um, I think it really shows the rainbow jizz splat. It's finally happened. <laughs> so when you're doing a bike ride this long, the ride's both been seven, eight hours, you need to eat as much food as possible. So we were ordering um, chips and bread with every single meal. You basically can't eat enough, which is a great position to be in. Right here if you like food. Some reason Chris keeps ordering salad. Ben, I think we're in trouble because today it took us eight hours and 40 minutes elapsed time. There was a bit of faffing around and it was 140k with like 300 meters of elevation and tomorrow is 140k in hotter conditions with 2000 meters of elevation and basically no descending. I'm gonna have to set like a 5am alarm and Chris is grumpy because he doesn't want to wake up that early. 34 degrees. It's gonna be 22 degrees here at one o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crap. Like, subscribe and suck your mum.